Hi everybody, it's me Jennifer, as you've been seeing. My hair, I washed my hair after I got it done the other day. So now it's time to wash. So we are on our way to the chiropractor for me because I have to get an adjustment because I had a car accident. And then, after that, we're gonna pick my mom up and we're gonna have, um, just go to Giuseppe's. I'm gonna have some grilled chicken and some broccoli, I think, and a salad. That's just what I think I'm gonna have. I'm not sure yet. But um, that's what we're gonna have. Say hi, Violet. She's driving. My beautiful daughter's driving. And uh, she's doing really good. She's almost, uh, she's almost got a down pat. And that's about it. So, you know, just wanted to, oh, day 16 of positivity. So I just wanted to tell you this. Right now, you won't believe this, but I'm having a panic attack. Yes, right this very moment, I went to the store. I was talking to the girl, very nice girl, showed her my tattoo. Say, look, uh, my beautiful tattoo, video coming soon. God, I love that tattoo. Thank you, Lee, from Attractive Tattoo. Anyway, so, on uh, Attractive Tattoo on Route 36 in Hazlitt, New Jersey, Lee, 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 Raquel, 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 everybody's so great there. Anyway, all right, back to this. I'm having, I'm currently having a panic attack, like a panic stricken. I'm panic stricken. That's why I'm like hyper and stuff. You can start driving. And so, but I have no choice but to trudge on my way into this life because I can't buckle. Nope. Hold on. No, you turn this way. way. Nope. Nope. You turn this way because you're going to crash into that guy. And, um, Yes, now you can turn that way once you go back. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Make a long story short. Um, so right now I'm having, I'm, I'm panic stricken. I, I, I was in the store. I had to get something in there. And I just felt, um, I started talking to a nice girl, but I showed her my tattoo. And I was talking about my effort of fiasco. That's what I'm going to call it. The effort of fiasco. All right. I'm not even going to call him by name anymore because he doesn't even deserve that. And as a result, I was getting anxiety about talking about that and certain other things. And I just started to like, <sighs> you know, because I really put a lot of effort in, in that in that relationship. And, you know, it, it is what it is. Um, life throws you punches and you got to punch back. You know what I mean? But I, I, I was, it's like, it's like, I miss them and, and I'm angry. And I want to talk to them and I never ever want to talk to them again it's like mixed emotions and I was talking to this girl and then all of a sudden blah 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 fast forward I started getting panic stricken because there was a lot of people in there too and blah 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 fast forward I just started getting panicky so I just want you to know something anxiety is such a terrible affliction because it comes on when you least expect it okay when you least expect it sorry guys we're doing a a positivity or <laughs> day 15 slash driving to the chiropractor slash I'm having an anxiety attack as I speak slash talking about relationships that fail um, discussion uh, la 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 fast forward anxiety is a terrible affliction I think that it's up there with um, probably depression and uh, uh, schizophrenia and I'll tell you why with depression comes hopelessness. With anxiety comes worry and fear, which also encompasses hopelessness and worry. And you know what I mean? Like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. You know, like what's gonna happen? And or just like the unknown and stuff. So, and then schizophrenia. I'm comparing it only to schizophrenia because schizophrenia is really, I am sure that people with schizophrenia can function, but they have to take mad medications. And there's a lot, I, I follow a girl on TikTok who has schizophrenia, and she is very active in her in her community. She's uh, she's a wonderful person. And all of a sudden, in the middle, she she records her her her, her moments where she's actually talking to herself or talking to a delusion that she's having. And uh, and and she was saying that she gets intrusive thoughts, and that's what it, where I'm tying this in. I have anxiety. I don't have schizophrenia. I think, thank the Lord Jesus. And I get intrusive thoughts. Okay? I was having intrusive thoughts in the friggin' store. I wanted to run out of screaming. So I know m mental health issues are real. They are so real. And they are so powerful. And they can just take your joy away when you're not really... Up like, I wasn't really in a bad mood, particularly. You know? 
Because quite frankly, whoever's listening, because I know I know people can watch my YouTube channel even though they can't um, leave comments. And I was broken hearted, okay? I was broken hearted. Now I'm in anger mode. I didn't deserve any of that. I didn't deserve to be hurt this way. Now I've got to move on. I am moving on. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find Mr. Right. But... I was so comfortable and, and and I was in love and and now I've got to go through that whole I gotta go through that again at this age you know what I'm saying and by the way I can run in heels honey okay all right so saying that that that's an inside thing for somebody but anyway I'm just having a little bit of a manic moment here okay I'm having a little bit of an anxiety moment so forgive me if I sound a little cuckoo because that is cuckoo hold on i dropped my wallet anyway yeah so get don't go too close that's a that's a gas tank so um make a long story short i just wanted to tell you i am having an anxiety attack right now like i'm having anxiety right now that's why i'm hyper like this and so not only excuse me but hug me please give me a hug i need a hug i need a hug come on hug me give me a hug and if you're feeling this way i'm giving you a hug too okay i'm giving you a hug um because i know how you feel i know how you feel about this mental health issues it's just a, just a drag it's a drag and i don't have my medication with me so i can't, I can't take anything i just have to live on love here and live on on emotions and, and happy feelings of my tattoo and of my life and of my daughter and and, and, and know that things are going to be okay. I put this, I'm very transparent, you know, with, with what I'm feeling. I'm very transparent in what I'm feeling right now. And I'm going to post this on my YouTube channel. You know why? Because it's my YouTube channel, number one. Number two, I need to express this because there's other people out there feeling the same way. The young girl in the store, she was 20 years old. She told me she was 20 years old. And she's had her heart broken on the floor. She was weeping over the guy. So, we all go through it. We all go through it. And um, I guess it's going to have to be okay because it is what it is. So on that note, um, positivity day number 16. Um, I'm going to give you some positive affirmations. You are wonderful. You are beautiful. You are gorgeous. You are handsome. You are worthy. Uh, you're intelligent. You um, like that movie, The Help. What did what, what, you say to the little girl? Do you remember? You are smart. You're important. You're loved. Something, You're loved. Something, something like that. And she loved that little girl. If you didn't see the help, we should watch that tonight. That's a great movie. That's a good one. That that's a good one. And you know what character I like the best on that movie? The girl that they didn't want to talk to. That she came over with the cake. That that very the Marilyn Monroe look girl that had a couple miscarriages the poor baby and, and and she was so awesome it she deserved an, an award i think she got an award for that movie i think I hope she did. she was the girl in interstellar she was the girl did you know that no she's the girl with the red hair that told her father and and then uh, did you know that this was going to happen and she was the girl the woman the young the, the his daughter who grew up became the scientist who saved the world um, oh, that's, so cool. that's the same lady. Yeah, that's cool. Isn't that amazing? Told yeah. you would never know. No, I did not know. Yeah, her. that's her. Anyway, it's a little trivia there. I'm not gonna recognize it. Because I am. I am. So, if you if, to get off the subject of anxiety and positivity and all that stuff, if you guys have seen The Help and the movie Interstellar, two amazing, perfectly amazing movies that I can see like every week, like literally, like The Black Phone. There's a character in The Help. And there's a character in Interstellar, and they're the same actress, but I forget her name, but she's very famous now. She's very, she reminds me of the girl from the village, Dallas, uh, the, the blonde, the, the blind girl that had to go get medicines from the towns for, for Lucius Hunt. I don't know her name, but I That's remember. Dallas, uh, uh, Dallas, um, Bryce, Bryce Dallas Howard okay. with the red hair. Yeah, that, that's also, if I had to choose a movie to watch five movies to watch for the rest of my life five movies five movies it would be number one the village that's my favorite movie of all time okay number two the green mile this is my list number three 
believe it or not, Shawshank Redemption. Great movie. I know I, 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 Morgan Freeman was amazing in that. Number four, Carlito's Way. Loved it. And number five, it's a cross between The Goodfellas and The Bronx Tale. If I had to watch five movies for the rest of my life, it would be those five movies. But then I got The Black Phone. Uh, what was that movie? I Knock at the Cabin. All right, we have ten. Black Phone, Knock at the Cabin. Oh, what about Bob? A Groundhog's Day and Mrs. Doubtfire. Okay, those are the ten movies. I know I'm very interactive. I know you guys are getting a kick out of this. She starts out with anxiety. She starts talking about positivity. She says, oh, because it says now she's talking about movies. Well, that's what anxiety does. It makes you anxious. makes you hyper. That's what I'm feeling right now. But it also is very therapeutic for me to talk about it, right? To talk through it, uh -huh. right? All right, let's take three deep, deep breaths in. Deeper than your nose. Deeper than your mouth. Nose. Okay. One more. All right. I would tell you a lie and say I'm all better, but I'm not, but I feel a little bit better. Good breathing techniques is one of the things that I've learned in um, therapy and behavior mod to calm my damn self down. All right. Okay. Don't give up on your life, okay? If you're feeling like you don't want to go on and you want to do something rash, because I'm not even going to say it, call the suicide hotline right now. I say it every time. Call the suicide hotline right now and tell them you don't can't handle shit because we love you we want you here because if you do that then it's the end and we don't want it to be the end for you we want you to continue and continue and continue and um if you're not feeling like that but you're feeling blue or sad or anxious or, or ocd moments or adhd or whatever whatever just know that you can get through this talk to your therapist talk to your preacher you're a little too close to that, that, that truck. You have to get away from, from a, a, a gas truck. Excuse me, guys. Um, you have to be at least a car length away from there. All right. Anyway, um, talk to your best friend. Talk to your daughter, your son that you're close to. Talk to your mom, your dad, whoever you are close to. Tell them help. I need you. And, um, and, and if you aren't getting help for your mental health issues, get help believe me. I, I see a therapist. My daughter sees a therapist. There's no, there's no shame in our game. All right. So on that note, I love you. Um, don't give up on this life. It's a beautiful life. And like Lee wrote, everything happens for a reason. Right, Lee? So everything happens for a reason. And, um, I identify with that so much that I'm so happy that I got this um, tattoo. Peace and love, everybody. I love you. Catch you on the next ride.